So Yanni has decided to respond back to some of the drama that's been surrounding her name lately. And she jumped on TikTok and responded with this. Y'all check this out. Myself is I just really don't sit up here and lie to y'all on social media. Like, I've admitted to some of the worst too. And, like, no laughing shit, like, for real. And I realize that everything that I be saying comes to light. But half of y'all hate to realize it because it be y'all favorite people. And I think that everybody be lying one year. And I just be telling the truth. And especially, like, with my real friends in social media, I'm going to always tell them the truth. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, period, point blank. And I just realized, like, y'all hate me so much that y'all can't see the forest for the trees. So y'all don't like me so much that y'all rather believe these people that be like than me. And I cannot be mad at y'all because these people been doing this way longer than me. And end shit way longer than me. And I don't know. So it's like, do I keep coming on here to tell y'all the truth? Or do I'm at in my life? I'd rather just not say anything. And the biggest thing that people can say about me on here is like things that are in like my sexual life. And that's nothing that social media should be a part of. Point blank period. And yeah, I don't get on here and speak on, oh, this person, that person, or if I did something with this person or that person, because that's none of y'all's business. I'm a grown ass woman in comparison to half the people that follow. And that's just it. But y'all hate to really hear me out. And I love that. I love that y'all hate to hear me out because it always ends up coming out. That Yanni was telling the truth, even when y'all hate to hear it. Now, a lot of supporters feel like she's saying a lot, but also at the same time, not saying much of anything. And that's simply because she is not being direct. She's not being specific. She's not saying, okay, well, listen, I told y'all this and that. And guess what? Now this and that is actually coming, you know, true. Like I'm being proven right. We're getting none of that. And supporters also feel like, well, she had the opportunity to speak directly to Brooklyn and Troy, really clear the air during that messy Maj live, but she declined to come up and speak. Now, also with this TikTok, Yanni unfollowed Wuda, you know, her new bestie, and Wuda unfollowed her too. Well, a lot of supporters are feeling like this unfollow is due to Wuda being on live with Messy Maj and going after Deshay. Now, y'all know Yanni and Deshay are locked in. That's her man. Wait, oh, I mean, I mean her friend. Y'all know what I mean, her friend. Mm -hmm. So what do y'all think about Yanni's TikTok? And also, what do you think about this unfollow between Yanni and Wuda? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, y'all know that Choi always has involved himself some way, somehow, and he jumped on his IG and he decided to troll Yanni and he posted this on his IG page. my product glasses. Hold up, I don't even want to put them on um, Honestly I, I'm just not going to speak on the situation anymore Because it's like I'm just too big for it You know, like I feel good where I'm at You know what I'm saying I have little man And, you know I don't need nothing else So all right, well, since we already speaking about Choi, uh, let's get into this Influencer City, Manny, Chris, Debo situation. Now, it was recently announced that Choi is going to be on Influencer City. Like, what? Yeah. Yo, it's your boy, Rich Boy Choi. You already know what it is, man. Catch me on the next season of Influencer City, the next generation, man. Now, a lot of supporters are not shocked by this because when they saw Emily with Debo, they kind of figured something was up. And then that whole fake fight pull up situation. I mean, can we just be real? It was just giving corny. And so at this point, it's very clear that Chris, Troy, and Debo are all working together. So, you know what? Let's just roll in the stage videos, starting with this one. So Chris and Troy sat down for a conversation, I guess basically to clear the air. And now when discussing how this issue really started between all of them, Chris basically says, listen, we were riding with Brooklyn. Brooklyn had an issue with you. Therefore, we had an issue with you. So y'all check this out. How do you think it started? I think it started from our end, from it was like... I think after you and Brooklyn had whatever you and y'all had going on, and she came over, and you know what I'm saying, y'all. I, I guess she did a diss track on y'all. Oh yeah. That's that's when I that's when I started. I'm like shit. Oh, 
for it. That's what it is. Bad Brooklyn. That's what it is. You feel me? I, I don't even know. I don't even know what happened with y'all. <laughs> she told me. She told me what happened, but you know, we never really tried to go into detail with that shit, like, cause we mature about all the shit that's going on. Like when we talk about this shit, we like, oh, if she don't like you, and we was rocking with her, it's like, okay, bet. You know how that shit go. Yeah. But us personally, we never really had words for us to have any beef. So what do y'all think about what Chris had to say? Do y'all really think that's the source of why they had an issue with Troy? Leave your comments down below. I really want to get your thoughts and opinions on that. Now, a lot of supporters are not here for this link up, this collab, whatever it is that they're doing, simply because of Brooklyn. A lot of people feel like, okay, well, if y'all were so cool with Brooklyn, y'all wouldn't be doing it. You know what? This is what I will say about this situation. When it comes to Chris and Debo, and I will say, you know what? A lot of other influencers as well, if there is money to be made, they are willing to put whatever beef aside to go collect the bag. And I also feel like Manny is the one that's facilitating a lot of these little peace summits, okay? I feel like Manny cannot afford to have Chris and Debo beefing with people that he can make money with, that he can collab with, that can also help push out his content so i think this is what a lot of this has to do with so now my question is what type of environment does that create because y'all are bringing in people that if there wasn't an opportunity on the table they wouldn't even be around y'all and they're only there because there's an opportunity on the table so it's like a whole lot of you know being in each other's faces being fake and phony but i guess all right so let's now move on over to finney and stacy and now if y'all are not familiar with this story or have not been keeping up please check out these two videos of mine because i broke this all the way down up into what is currently happening now which is what we're about to get into and so now supporters feel like they may have been a fight between finney and stacy the other night now shout out to the messy Maj page who first reported this story so finney went on her ig story and posted this all i'm gonna say is the time was here last night and when i say let's rock out that's what the me last night let's rock out period that's it that's all and then she went on her twitter account and posted this which made people feel like okay there must have been a fight that she got into now keep in mind stacy has not said anything about any of this but lena went on her tiktok and she posted this but i'm sitting here still classy never threw a punch but i wanted to you hit daddy and you know she don't fight and then fanny responded with this she not talking to me like so it's basically been a back and forth through TikTok, I guess. Now, there has been no confirmation on either side. And like I said, Stacey has not said anything. And on top of that, there is no footage of it. So let me know what y'all think about this situation. Y'all think they really fought? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, that's all I got for this video. So please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time with some more scoops.